Hello and welcome back to another video. I'm Zelp and today we're gonna look at intrinsics for Railjack in Warframe. Now I wanted to do this when I have everything maxed out, but it's just gonna be taking too long and I don't want to burn myself out grinding this. Um, so I do want to have fun. I want to do this off and on. I may even switch between content sometimes. Um, however, uh, I want to do it in, in a pace where I'm still enjoying. So let's start by talking why it's intrinsics. Intrinsics are basically points they can use to sort of like level up a role that you have in Railjack. And currently we have four roles, which is the tactical, which is the guy with the big picture. You have the pilot, the guy behind the wheel, gunnery, which is the guy behind uh, the guns, engineering, which is, uh, I guess in a way, the guy that repair or fix things. And there is one that says command, but it's not unlocked yet. So we really don't know what that does yet. Um, and I feel like it's really exciting to find out what it does. I'm going to talk about what is very important that you should have. Um, although at some point you want to be focusing on one particular role, but I highly suggest that you get these small little things that I'm about to tell you um, first and then at the late games you start focusing on a specific role. So let's start with tactical. Now if you right click on it, you'll see a list of all the, the perks that you get as you rank up. I'm not going to read out every single perk, uh, I'll let you do that in your own time but I'm going to point out the thing that I feel is really important and you should definitely get it because it makes life a lot easier. So for tactical, the first thing that you want is probably going to be rank 3 and this rank 3 which is called command link allows you to teleport within your vessel so your real jack from one end to the other end sometimes or let's say you are you're the pilot and whenever a mission ends you want to go all the way back to to the forge to refine and that whole distance that you have to travel all the way back can be really quickly shortened um, by using this particular teleporting. Also, uh, sometimes your doors can actually be subjected to sort of like a cold proc or ice where it stops functioning. And if you so happens to not be able to fix it because maybe you run out of juice and you're actually on your way to the, to the forge but then you couldn't go through the, the, the door, uh, you can also use the teleport to get there. Now the second thing that I would highly recommend you to at least reach is rank 4. Rank 4 is called Recall Warp, where if you use your uh, repair tool, which is called the Omni Gear, you actually get to teleport back to your ship. So you can go on a sabotage mission and the moment you are done, you can teleport back to your ship. Even though someone is piloting it and the guy like flew really, really far away, you can still teleport back. So for tactical, I feel like up to rank 4 is somewhat good enough um, and the important ones to me at least is rank 3 and rank 4. However, I do want to kind of talk a little bit about rank 10 and what I think. Uh, so rank 10 is join warp where it will warp the ship to the crew member. So the entire ship is going to teleport towards the crew uh, member which I feel like it's a good idea. You know, like if he's somewhere really far away and you want to go over to help him, uh, you can use this. But the more I think about it, I feel like there's no real reason for you to be needing to do this. Unless, maybe, if that crew member get knocked. And I feel like it would be so cool if they can change this just a little bit. Like maybe make it spend a little bit of energy. And what, it would, what you would end up doing is if the ally is knocked, you will warp over and you will resurrect him by pulling him back into the ship immediately. But you know, maybe it will cost some amount of energy. And I think that would make this particular rank 10 so much better. Okay, the next one is going to be piloting. So let's just close this, open up this. Within the piloting, I feel like the important one is rank 1, which allows you to use boost to move a little bit faster. The uh, second thing that I feel like is okay-ish maybe is this rank tree which is vector evasion. Basically if you move from side to side um, you have a 
a chance where you can dodge projectiles because they actually lose their lock on when you move from side to side so i think this is also pretty good rank 4 uh, reduces collision damage by 50 percent well if you are a good pilot you don't really need this i guess uh, but then again i'm not too sure how it counts when you actually collide with enemy ship um, and then let's talk about its rank 10 ramming speed so ramming into enemies while boosting will deal 2000 damage and i think that is pretty good because 2000 damage is a lot in terms of if you look at their overall health uh, you might be able to one shot a lot of the uh, the fighters so maybe an interesting uh, thing to get but you definitely need really fast movement speed in order to utilize this well because as you're moving towards the enemy the enemy will dodge you will move away from your ship so if your movement speed is not fast enough you won't be able to ram them so in my opinion for piloting the important one is really rank 1 and rank 3 so by getting to rank 3 automatically you're gonna have rank 1 anyways uh, but uh, to be fair, I feel like even just with rank 1 is enough just to get that boost uh, and that is pretty much it. For piloting, it's something that uh, is not being used a lot right now because currently a lot of people are using Arcwing to fight but I feel like in the near future, either the uh, uh, Amisma, Am Amnesia, what's that Arcwing called again? Anyway, the current meta Arcwing might get nerfed or they might actually make it such that um, by using Railjack is better for killing enemies than to use Arcwing because otherwise it kind of fulfills the, uh, the purpose of using or having a Railjack. Okay, so for Gunnery, in my opinion, rank 2 is really good because this is when you go on the uh, side guns, the turrets, and you have a 360 degree view. So you can shoot things where it's behind your ship or even uh, otherwise it will be blocked by your ship and you can see so this is definitely something that you want if you want to be a gunner uh, rank 3 is also really good because with rank 3 you can use the slingshot rank 4 allows you to use the slingshot to actually hit targets and deal damage on top of that while you're flying towards that, that target you actually take no damage at all so you are immune to damage and if it is a cruise ship you will go all the way into the cruise ship without even needing to you know go to the back of the cruise ship the next thing will be probably rank 6 uh, which reduces the the turret heat acceleration so that remember in the last video i showed you that there is this heat bar as you're using your guns so by reducing how fast it overheat you get to shoot more and longer and do more dps and also rank 7 which i think is also really good because it reduces overheat recovery time so if you do get overheated uh, it will recover a lot faster um, also it extends the uh, slingshot range uh, which i think is also somewhat good now if you're really really good um, at, at estimating your your heat bar technically you don't really need rank 7 because you are not going to need to recover from overheat because you're managing your overheat really well let's take a look at the rank 10 which is pretty cool i don't know how it works but it sounds really awesome it says aim snaps turrets to the nearest lead indicator like it's it's aimbot it's like auto aiming like can you imagine if you have this and you just pretty much put your mouse click down and it'll just kill everything in front of you I don't know it, it sounds really awesome but until we get it I wouldn't really I, I couldn't really comment too much about it so that is gunnery you want it around level 6 if you're using turrets to fight a lot then we come to engineering so for engineering in my opinion the first one is really important accelerate hazard compression and hull repair so you repair things and fix things faster obviously you want that rank 4 which increases uh, forge yield by 20% and I think what this means is just that if you were to pick up something and it gets uh, looted into the forge 
it's a little bit more than how much you actually picked up. I think that's what it means. And then we have rank 6, which is Forge Accelerator. Increased Forge Processing Speed by 25%. I believe this is the uh, whole cooldown thing. So if things get too intense, uh, it is possible that all four of your Forge might be on cooldown and you can't reload or do whatever it is that you want to do. So this is kind of important. Um, and then I guess rank 7 as well. So they have more yields. Um, and then also rank 9 uh, this is for kind of like farming purposes this is where when you refine you get a little bit more yields so yeah it, in my opinion it's not like uh, a must I do think rank 6 might actually be a lifesaver sometime but the rest is more or less like um, okay-ish and then let's take a look at its rank 10 which is remotely repair on board hazard I feel like this is something that's really really good because um, in my opinion a lot of times you are looking for where you need to go to fix things and then sometimes when you run to one end and then suddenly another one from the other end pops out and you just have to run around a lot in the ship and most of the time is being wasted traveling and trying to locate these problematic spots. So in my opinion this is probably the best useful rank 10 ability among all the others so engineering uh, is something that I would kind of want to get to max out and also gunnery because of that auto aim thing which I can't wait to see how it actually performs so I would pick either one of this to focus on right now so to some of you guys you might be wondering like why didn't I consider certain perks that gives you like being able to use warframe abilities or the uh, tactic Avornix like skills um, like the missile attack that you saw in my last video um, or why not pick gunnery rank 5 because of the forward mount artillery cannon the reason why is because at late games when you go to Vale you actually don't use the cannon that much because it's not going to one shot the uh, cruise ship in fact it, depending on how buff your real jack is you might still need maybe two or three shots just to kill a cruise ship and therefore a faster way is really just to go in and destroy the reactor and then when it comes to abilities again it depends on what kind of abilities but a lot of the uh, ability damage is also going to fall off uh, at late game unless you're going to use them as utilities uh, like for example black holes and stuff so that might be a little bit more useful but in general you don't really need it okay so let's make a quick summary to wrap things up for tactical you want to go for at least rank 4 because you want the command link so you can teleport around the vessel and also recall warp so you can teleport back to your ship almost instantly uh, there is uh, like I don't know 3 to 5 second cooldown before you actually teleport but still it's way faster and very convenient to have for piloting in my opinion rank 1 is somewhat good enough uh, unless you pilot a lot then maybe you want to get stuff like vector evasion or safe flight right then for gunnery uh, uh, again depend depending on how often you actually use the, uh, the turrets um, if you don't use it that often I feel like just having uh, rank 4 is good enough so they can slingshot your way into cruise ships um, so they can uh, destroy them by attacking the reactor also you can do damage to fighters if you want to um, and have access to slingshot but if you use the uh, the turret a lot I would recommend getting all the way to rank 7 because of the uh, old heat thing if you can manage the old heat well maybe just rank 6 will do and then finally we have engineering which uh, in my opinion rank 1 is the most important um, and the next really really cool thing is probably going to be rank 10 okay so that is pretty much my opinion on what is important for the intrinsics and if you want to go for it uh, go for it hopefully this will help you decide on what you want to focus on uh, I for me personally I think engineering and gunnery is something that I'll be looking forward to maxing up um, other than that the rest is kind of cool but then I feel like I don't use them as much uh, especially they are rank 10 so let me know what you think down in the comments if you feel like there's a certain rank of uh, a certain category that I 
did not point out or you feel like it's really important and how come Zelp is not talking about it, uh, just let me know down in the comments and why you think that that is important. Because for all we know, I just don't have the correct understanding of how it works and therefore I deem it uh, less useful or I just personally don't use it as much. So looking forward to see what I can learn from you as well. Okay, so that is all for this video. I do want to have your opinion on one more thing because very often at the end of the videos, I don't really know if I'm supposed to say things like like and subscribe and ring the bell notification thing. Um, and I don't know if that actually helps. Uh, technically, I heard that it does and everyone is doing it, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Should I be saying all those things after every single video? And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.